I'll tell you, if you don't believe me, if you just get involved with the federal government and your life is going to change and ain't ever going to be the same again. I'll give you a prime example. I, I had a great uncle one time, used to run a ferry down on, the, down on the river, run it for 50 years. His name was Johnson Crabapple. Now, he run that ferry for 50 years. Somebody wanted to cross a river. He'd charge them 50 cents, take them across. They'd come back and ring a little bell. He'd go pick them up and bring them across in the ferry. He'd done it for 50 years. Well, you know, a few years ago, the federal government bought all that corridor, all that land down on the river. And these federal employees showed up one day at Johnson Crabapple's house. They said, we just want to notify you that we own all this land now and everything on it. They said, we own this ferry now. We own this house, we own everything. But they said, don't worry, because it ain't going to change nothing. You're going to keep right on living here, doing just like you've been doing, running the ferry. He said, well, I've been doing it for 50 years. They said, you've been doing a good job, too. They said, the only difference is, now you're going to be an employee of the federal government. They said, you're going to get a paycheck every two weeks, whether anybody crosses this river or not. It don't matter. You're going to get a paycheck. He said, well, that sounded pretty good. So he went right on running the ferry, and every two weeks he started getting a paycheck. Well, then they hired a supervisor to supervise Johnson Crabapple to make sure he was doing a good job running the ferry. Of course, he'd been doing it for a long time. Well, next, they hired a payroll officer to make sure that the supervisor and Johnson Crabapple got paid on time. Well, a little while rocked by, and then they they hired an accountant to oversee the account to make sure that the payroll officer took out the right amount of the deductions on the supervisor and Johnson Crabapple. <laughs> then they got to arguing over whether it ought to be open 24 hours a day or they ought to put it on a schedule. So they hired a committee to study the thing. <laughs> the end of the year rolled around. They said the budget had done got too big. They going to have to make some cutbacks. So they let Johnson go. <laughs> Yeah. It's all I ever seen.